wanted to chat with you about something really, really old. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you're always kind of looking for the latest and the greatest in the world of books and CDs and DVDs and inspiration and motivation and learning and mindset and business and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, there's always something new and fabulous coming out and it's sometimes kind of hard to keep up. We have very busy lives. We're all working and have a lot of us have families and businesses and often even a side business. And I find I'm taking the time to read this year and a lot of you may already have that built into your schedule an hour a day or even half an hour a day to read. This is something kind of new for me, not reading per se, but you know, taking the time to read because it's important to nourish the mind as much as you're nourishing your body with a body by my cheek. <laughs> Sorry, it's right there. I couldn't resist. I wanted to do a short book review for you today. And this is the book. How to Win Friends and Influence People. Now, this book is over 75 years in print. It's been around a while. It's older than me, even. <laughs> and I'm finding that I'm, I'm learning things. I have been involved in business for myself for a year now, but I've been employed for you know, over 20 years. So I've been involved in interacting with the public a lot. And I kind of thought I knew most everything there was to know. Well, that was a mistake. And I think that as we get older, we have to realize that we don't know everything. Some of the most fundamental parts of this book are perhaps things we overlook because it's so common sense. In a nutshell, fundamental techniques in handling people. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Give honest and sincere appreciation. The first one, don't criticize, condemn, or complain. I would say the uh, criticizing and condemning part was perhaps something that a lesson I really took away from this. And not that I have ever been a nasty person, but because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I will often find tiny little tidbits here and there where I know in my mind and in my heart that that person is incorrect in that fact or that saying or that what have you. And I want to say it so desperately, <laughs> but it doesn't do any good, really. In the long run and in the big picture of things, to be able to hear people where they're at is what is going to get you the best result. I could go on and on and on about this book and I'm actually not even finished yet. I do highly recommend it. Dale Carnegie. So many of the top leaders and gurus in marketing have recommended this book. Hopefully, I'm not sure if that helped at all, but I hope it, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated really and listen and be sincere in in your appreciation of other people and you will win people towards whatever it is that you're doing. That's all I wanted to share for you this week. I hope you've had a great week and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. Like